Welcome to CivLead, a community app for changemakers. In this tutorial video, we are going to go over a general overview of the CivLead app and its functions. First and foremost, these are the three screens to become the most familiar with when using CivLead. The first screen on the left is what the home screen looks like without any favorite activities added. This middle screen is the full activities catalog where you can search through self-care activities, readings, and ways to get involved in your community as a civic leader. This is where you can favorite activities that speak most to you and add them to your favorites list. And this last screen on the right is the screen you will see once you've locked in your favorite activities and committed to completing them that day. Let's go through a step-by-step -step tutorial of how all of this comes together. Hi! Welcome to the CivLead app. I want to show you how I'm using CivLead. Here's the home screen where I can start my day off with a daily quote that refreshes every morning. Below my daily quote is a space where I can list my favorite activities that I will commit to completing on a daily basis. I don't have any marked at the moment, so I'm going to select the Find Some Favorites button, which will take me to the Activities Catalog. The Activities Catalog is broken up into three categories, Learn, self-care, and service. Something I would love to do while I'm in the app is look for something to read. I'm going to select the Learn category and browse through. I'm in the mood to check out something on leadership, so what I'm going to do is click the magnifying glass and it'll prompt the search bar to appear. In the search bar, I'm going to type in leadership. That way, any article or reading focused on leadership appears. Once again, tons of options appear. Trauma-informed leadership sounds pretty interesting to me, so I'm going to go ahead and select Add to List so that it will appear on my home screen in my favorites list. Because it's something I want to commit to doing specifically for today, I'll go ahead and click the green plus button to its left. I also want to add something self-care related to my favorite activities list, so I'm going to head back to the activities catalog, select the self-care category, and browse through. I'm going to go ahead and select meditation for myself today. I'm going to hit the green plus sign the same way I did for my reading. And with that, I'm going to hit I'm ready for my day, and this will lock in my selected activities and turn the screen green because I have decided to commit to completing these items today. Throughout the day, when I complete my activities, I can click on the three dots to the right and log the time and add any notes I may want to add. I'm going to go ahead and check off my reading commitment and check off my meditation commitment as well. I was feeling a little unsettled today and meditation was hard, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in. Once I hit save, the activity is removed from my list of commitments for the day. And because I've completed all of my commitments for the day, the home screen has gone back to the screen I originally started with before I committed to meditating and reading for the day. Now, let's go through the different features of the main menu in the CivLead app. There's the timeline feature, which gives me a visual of my habits and daily commitments over the course of time. The hashtag button takes you to the screen of tags, where you will find geographical tags and general tags. The bar chart button gives you your usage statistics. And the bulleted list button shows you the list of all activities that you have favorited in the CivLead app. Going back to my home screen, I might decide that I want to commit to an activity, but I can't find what I'm looking for in the browse section. A cool feature in CivLead is that I can create it. I'm going to click create and this screen will pop up. I now have the ability to name my activity, select the category it falls under, and add any notes and additional information that I want to add. That's pretty much it. Hopefully this gives you a good idea on how to use CivLead. 